Hey, back with another video on an update on this garden out here in the back of the uh, uh, property. And let's just get right to it. I'm uh, standing next to the corn. And uh, this is the uh, popcorn that is uh, just starting to tassel out. And looks like we've got some, some heads or ears uh, forming in there. So the popcorn is now started. And if I go up real high here, You'll be able to see the, uh, the sweet corn over there has uh, that's been tasseled out for a while and it's producing corn. This right in front of me here, this is the golden bantam heirloom corn, and uh, we've got several ears growing on this. And, and look at this, how this is growing here. This particular stalk that I see has one ear, two ears, three ears of corn growing on it. And uh, that is a prime candidate for uh, seed stock. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go through this and hand pick everything that's going to be for seed. Anything that's got three ears on it is definitely going in for seed stock. Um, and uh, anyway, this this particular variety in front of me again is the uh, golden bantam. Let's go ahead and go over to the double standard and take a look. So, how I got all this corn to grow together is I planted it in different intervals so that it wouldn't cross-pollinate because you don't want your corns cross-pollinating so you want them all to tassel out at different times and uh, I planted uh, this here and it's uh, um, it, it, it all worked out great how I planted it the sweet corn tasseled then the golden bantam over here is tasseling and now the popcorn is so it's all coming in at different times and uh, we're uh, our silk is is uh, starting to uh, dry out um, I've tried a few ears they're not completely formed yet but we want this to be dark brown uh, nearly gone before we start harvesting and uh, kind of you know there's a little bit darker brown one right there but yet these ears are not very big see the see my thumb they will. They'll get there. Uh, let's see. Let's get out of the corn. And uh, walk down to the sorghum. But on the way, take a look at the potatoes. These potatoes are getting pretty close to needing to be harvested. At least these two rows. This is a uh, Yukon Gold. I think these are red potatoes and then those are white potatoes. I've already harvested a bunch of the uh, uh, sweet or uh, not sweet potatoes, uh, red potatoes from the other end of the garden. Okay, what we have here is broom corn sorghum and in some spots like this one over here, see these these heads here, these uh, stalks are higher than I can reach. It's, they're probably eight feet tall if I were to put the leaves straight up. But I've got one of them already starting to uh, grain out, so let's take a look at it. This is the broom corn sorghum. Here it is. Get on the other side so the sun isn't causing us an issue. But anyway, there it is. Starting to uh, Starting to get some grain off the top of it. That's pretty cool, huh? And then uh, the next set of uh, sorghum down here. This is the Mennonite sorghum. And it's not doing anything yet, but it is getting tall. Um, this stuff's supposed to be uh, grow about 12 feet tall. But it still has several months to go, so it's going to get there. But right now it's probably reaching up there. It's maybe about 6 feet. 6 or maybe 7 feet. This, uh, this broom corn sorghum is uh, getting super tall for sure. Oh, there's some more. Look at this one. This one's getting, uh, it's got some grain on it. This one looks like it's building some stock up in there. It's probably got some grain going to pop out of it as well. All right. And don't forget we got the corn or the, the beans growing in here with the corn. Here's one. Let's follow this one up bean plant growing all the way to the top of the corn. It's actually gone past the corn. 
I was expecting this double standard to grow a little taller. It's only really realistically uh, between five and six feet tall, so doesn't have a whole lot for the beans to climb, but should get some beans out of it. And then we got the purple potted pole beans over here, and those are starting to bud. And then I think the next row is uh, Missouri Wonder pole beans. Those are growing with the corn. And then the very uh, southernmost row here is the Kentucky Wonder Bowl pole beans. And here is our second go at the corn. And it's uh, doing very, very well. We got a lot of uh, grass in there, which is kind of a shame, but we'll uh, do the best we can to work around that. Here's pumpkins and uh, these are the jack-o'-lanterns right here and there's another one I got several of these planted got those planted all for the kids and for the seeds because the seeds are awesome to bake and eat and then what we have going on down here um, is the uh, winter squash so we got uh, acorn butternut and spaghetti squashes are growing in this area and look at the flax the flax. Oh, look at that. You just scared a bunny out of there. I don't know if you've seen it or not. But look at the flax here. Get a close up of this one. The flax seed is mature. There's a seed. There's a couple more seeds. And there's a couple more seeds. All right. So there's the flax seed. And it's ready. Uh, it's basically done growing. It's not going to flower anymore. What I have to do is uh, is pluck it, stack it, and uh, and let it let it air dry for about a week. So I'll uh, I'll probably I don't know if I'll get to that today, but if not, it'll definitely be tomorrow, and we'll get these uh, get this flax ready to go. And uh, how uh, how I can tell it's it's pretty much done is. See, there's no more new growth on top. The stalk is turned yellow, and the very tops are already starting to dry on their own. And there's, see, they're getting crumbly. See that? So we're going to get that going. That's going to be awesome. Let's see what else we got. Well, while we're out here doing an update on the garden, let's walk to the other end and check out the cucumbers. You know what? We're going to turn, come down here. Remember, this is a horrible soil on this end and I'm not going to amend it with anything to uh, get it with chemical wise or fertilizer wise but I am hoping to get enough seed out of it from this end here that I can uh, get some seed for next year and plant it in a little bit better into the garden it's starting to tassel out a little bit here All right, we're to the cucumber section. Let's see what we got. Just on, we'll start on the very first plant. Oh, there's one right there. There's a nice cucumber. I see some more in there. There's another one right there. And look at that one, piles of cucumbers. So it looks like it's about time to start doing some pickles. I'm gonna have lots of cucumbers. And with zucchini and the yellow squash. There's a nice yellow squash right there, just about ready to pick. And I see a little field mouse. 
or no, he's a frog. And zucchini, I picked one the other day, so there's none at the moment. All right, let's look at the, I don't know what kind of bean these are, maybe the cranberry. Or I'd have to get out the, uh, I'd have to get my uh, map out, but uh, aren't those cool looking? And see, here's how they look before they get started, but see, they're, uh, they're getting red speckles in them. These are pretty cool. Even though they're uh, horrible in nutrient value, um, they are still producing beans. And uh, the yellow wax beans are doing really good here, too. I'm letting a lot of them go to seed. Because uh, the bean harvest this year is going to be pretty bad. But I'll have plenty of seed stock for next year once I get this uh, area amended. With compost, which, if you recall, is way over there. I'm going to go get all that compost and uh, bring it in here to the garden. Everything growing underneath that big mound of foliage is uh, compost. Let's check out some of these others. Some pods on there. Navy beans, I think. A bean, a bean is a bean is a bean until uh, it gets big and mature. <clears throat> Boy, this row is looking pretty sick. They're all looking pretty sick, but I'll get some seed out of it. And uh, let's see, we got the asparagus is doing really good. And there's a bunch of seeds on this asparagus plant. Get my hand behind it. There's a bunch of seeds. Kind of hard to see it all blends together here, but so that's looking pretty good. I don't know why some are seeding out and others aren't. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's just uh, its maturity level or something. And uh, I've already harvested tons of. Uh, harvested uh, tons of the uh, peas already uh, for seed and uh, radishes no sorry not radishes uh, spinach for seed and uh, radishes are going to be next I got lots of those but uh, tomatoes are starting to look pretty good oh and look at we got some got some flowers growing I get this grass under control this is driving me nuts but I don't have time for it but look at the cherry tomatoes more cherry tomatoes. There's some more. And more and more and more and more and more and more. More cherry tomatoes. And then we got some great cherry tomatoes over here. I already came out and picked a bunch of these, so we got a bunch up to the house ready to eat. I think I missed a nice one right in here. <clears throat> I'll eat that one. Look at this tomato. See how big it is according to my hand? There's one side of it. Here. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Got tape measure on me. about six inches across. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's about six inches across. And that is the, um, that tomato is a beef master. Which uh, currently are beating out the mortgage lifters, but there's a pretty nice there's a pretty nice mortgage lifter tomato right there. I'll be uh, pulling these and doing some weights on them. There's one getting uh, ready to turn. Let's 
So peppers are doing sweet. Check that out. Peppers, lots of peppers. Here's a here's a green bell pepper. A couple more green bells. See the darn deer out here eating the tops of the thing off. More tomatoes. Bunch more cherry tomatoes over there. These ones are getting ready to turn. And the more you look, the more tomatoes you see. So those are doing good. And here's one of the uh, sunflowers. Hasn't started putting a sunflower on yet, but it's uh, it's over six feet tall. No, no sunflower yet. Oh, you know what else I want to show you? Oh, I just dropped my cherry tomato. Um, I want to show you some of the melons that are growing. And they are looking good. Mm -mm. Okay, there's one. There's one melon right there. Got a couple other small ones. On those sets of plants. Oh, let's take a look at the tobacco while we're right here. They're starting to bud out or uh, pod out for seed. Looks like we got a bunch of uh, little buggeroos on there, so I'm gonna have to mix up some mix up some uh, solution. Come out here and spray that. And. Uh, here, here we have the uh, uh, jalapeno peppers, so those are starting to do okay. Where is it? Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at that melon right there. Isn't that pretty? It's about four inches. There's a cucumber next to it. There's another cucumber next to it. About the size of that cucumber. But I think that's one of them long, skinny ones. <clears throat> Might be a watermelon too, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, there it is. And then back to the sorghum and the potatoes. So, um, garden is uh, kicking butt. And just to show you here, we got lots more seed. Uh, geez, I can't even talk right. We got lots more uh, wood chips. Uh, amendment for the garden. And. Uh, This is, uh, he just brought this load today and he said this was all apple. So, be good for, uh, for smoking. Bunch of apple on there. Well, anyway, there's the, uh, there's the overview, overall up, update of our, uh, of our garden. Um, Wish the uh, grass wasn't so bad in areas, but it is what it is, and it'll be better next year. Turnips. I got some kilrabis out of the other side over there. Here's some, here's a pepper plant. Jalapeno pepper, jalapeno pepper. Well, I guess that's about it. Um, I do have some uh, Chinese red long beans. They are not uh, taken off yet, so uh, I'll show you those as soon as they grab the grab the uh, sunflowers and start to take off. All right. Well, I'll uh, 
let you guys go and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you uh, like the garden update. Oh, hey, one last thing. Rhubarb. About time for some strawberry rhubarb pie, I think. All right. Take it easy.